Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna share with you guys what I got on my grocery pickup order. So usually, if you guys are new here, I usually go to Walmart and get my uh, groceries through the Walmart pickup. Sometimes I'll go through all these, but not that often. Um, this is just easier for me to do it this way. I find that if I just sit on my phone at nighttime when the kids are sleeping, or just falling asleep, I'm able to see exactly everything that I need and then also keep a budget on what I want. So this time when I did my order, I put my monthly food list together. So I mapped out what I wanted for daily uh, food items. So on some days we might be doing a crock pot meal, some days we might be doing a fry out and Mondays is usually our spaghetti night. So I kind of went off of that first. I did all my suppers first. And then like on Sundays and stuff, it's kind of a free open day and we'll just do something on them days. Uh, Friday, I put anything down. So I ended up putting some meals for Friday. They're just gonna be um, random meals. And I have all that put together on my calendar. And I found that if I, when I did that, I was able to do my grocery order a little bit easier this time. So my goal was to do a full month of groceries at one time. Last month I did three weeks and we made it through for the three weeks. So what I added to this order was our pantry restock. So I put them all in order. I have, we have everything right over here for our pantry restock. And then um, we got less on chips and stuff this time. We still have chips in our cabinet. And then we needed the snack restock. Um, some of the stuff that I usually would have got in other uh, grocery hauls, I couldn't get this time on this order. So some of it is gonna be getting delivered to my house. And then everything else, like that stuff can wait. I'm okay with that, but that's like applesauce, some party stuff. Um, and I forget, there was some other stuff for the party, I think, that I needed that's going to be delivered, and that's totally fine. So I put it all together on this order, and then we needed to restock on our frozen food stuff that I do for lunches, and then my crock pot meals. I have pretty much all the meat and stuff that I need. You guys aren't going to see a lot of meat on this order, only because we just did um a quarter of a cow about a month ago and then we did our chickens so we just butchered our chickens so we have a lot of chicken and then um i just got random meat if we were gonna do some frying out i took out hamburger patties from that meat that we already had so you like i said you probably won't see a lot of the meat stuff on here i don't have a lot of canned goods this time either because we are restocked on that, so we're good with that. It's just gonna be some of the random stuff that we use on a regular basis that needed to be restocked. And then, um, but I put everything in category again so that it, it's gonna go a lot smoother with doing this order. And then also I have some stuff that I'm gonna end up freezing so that we can just pull it out at a later time. So when I did this order, I made sure that a lot of this food isn't gonna get wasted if it's gonna sit in the fridge. And then, like I said, we can either make some stuff up and then freeze it, or some of this stuff is gonna get eaten in time to where it won't go bad. And then I have a lot of recipes planned for the food that I got. I also got a lot of drinks this time, more than I usually do. And then I bought a lot of cheeses and stuff for when we do chicken wraps and we're gonna be doing more snack boards this week so or this month. I think I'm gonna do four snack platters or charcuterie boards for this month. So I think I have that on Wednesday is gonna be our snack boards and then pizza is going to be Wednesday night. So we're gonna stick with that for this month and I can change that every month if I want to but I think this is gonna help us with less grocery shopping and then also knowing that we still have food in our house uh, to get through the month and we won't go without. We also do a lot of food storage, so that's gonna be our pantry restock stuff. 
Um, Lauren and I have two pantries out in our garage that is stacked with food. And then we also have two fridge combos and three freezer um, out in the garage. So we have the one fridge freezer combo out there and then the three other freezers are out there and then our uh, fridge freezer right here. So we also probably eventually maybe would get another freezer depending on how much more meat we are gonna be doing our own. So we have two pigs that we will be butchering in the end of October and we're gonna need storage for that also. So our goal is to be able to can our own food which is gonna be more in the, I don't know, what are we on, July? maybe like August or something like that, I'll have more canning stuff because I'm learning how to can this year. And with our garden, I'll be able to do that. So still learning when it comes to that, but we do have food storage and we've started that a couple years ago already. And we have a lot of that out on our shelf out there. So we store flour, rice, dry beans, gravies, pancake mix, sugar, if I didn't say that already, um what else do we store that's a lot of our like dry goods and then um like drinks and stuff that we would use like in emergency situations and stuff like that so we have all that out there um but for this grocery order i ended up ordering double of everything or not triple and i'm going to be storing that in different areas that we can store it and then as for drinks and stuff um the kids know that they can only have one drink a day. Otherwise, it's going to be milk or water. I just got juice this time, and that's just going to go whenever we have a lunch. We usually don't do juice and stuff like that for supper. We keep that as a lunch thing. And then um, also for the rest of the month, if we run out of fruit, milk, or bread, that's the only thing that we can possibly get for this month otherwise everything here should last us for the rest of the month unless we need vegetables and stuff but we have a lot of frozen vegetables fruits that are frozen cans and stuff like that so we have plenty of food to last us for the month if not longer depending on what we want to cook i'm going to start out on the end of the table we have all of this at our table right now, I told the kids we're probably going to make it to the end of the table, and we didn't quite do that, but that's okay. Um, so we got a lot of it all nicely stocked up here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the baking stuff first, only because we have parties like crazy around here since from January on, we always have some kind of party or get together. I don't buy my kids cakes anymore. We make our own cake now. All right, so, and I also changed the way I do my frosting. I used, used to go to Walmart and pick up my frosting at the deli, and I found that it's cheaper just to buy it in a tub, and I know that it would probably be cheaper if I even made it myself, but I didn't do that yet. So we're gonna start out with the bakery stuff, and then I'll move down for the rest of the way. Okay, so we need to make two cakes for this month. We're gonna do one with chocolate fudge, and then we have a cream cheese one that we're going to be doing and then i bought vanilla if we need that for some of the cakes and then i bought um two boxes of brownies and we're going to be making two different things with this let me just see what i got here okay so one of them is going to be a dessert for a meal and then another box is going to be just brownies for a meal and then I have my white cake mix. And the white cake mix is only like 90 some cents uh, box. And then I got carrot cake because we're gonna be making cake out of that. And then I found this, and this is also gonna be a dessert for one of the meals. I'm not usually real big when it comes to desserts after mealtime. It's usually fruit or something like that, or a sandwich or whatever if they want something after. But I don't do a lot of uh desserts but we're gonna try to tie some in um this month okay so that's what i got for the cakes and then i needed all-purpose flour so i got two things of that 
And then I'm going to be canning strawberries pretty soon. So I got two things of sugar. This probably should be in our pantry restock because we save our sugar in mason jars. We have nowhere to store our stuff in the house. So we put everything out in the garage and it needs to be stored in a different container. So that's what we are going to be doing with this. And then I'm also going to be using it up for canning. Um, so that's what I have for like the baking stuff. And then for the twins' birthday, we needed green silverware. So we're going to be using this. I actually probably need to buy another one of these. And one of the things that were substituted or didn't have was uh, orange ribbon. And then the orange napkins are coming in the mail. Got this big thing of lunch bags. I am going to be using these maybe, possibly for a crap. But otherwise... We have four rabbits right now and possibly going to be having six. So we just learned that if you put some hay and stuff in here, you can make toys out of the bags for your bunnies. So we're going to try that out. And then I have one or two things of strawberries. We have a big thing in our fridge right now. So I only bought a small amount. And fruit, like I said, is going to be tied in for the rest of the month when we need it. Um, one thing of melon, and then I got some ginger. I'm going to be making a soup this week. Celery, because we're going to be making two different types of soups. So I'm going to be making a ginger soup, and then uh, a chicken noodle soup. I have a package of potatoes. This we're going to be tying in with most of our dinner meals. And then I have parsley and I have a thing of cilantro. So I'm going to be making a chickpea salad with this. I also am going to be making street tacos this next coming week. And then the kids use this for their animals also. And then I have three things of the Italian cucumbers and I'm going to be using that for our chickpea salad and then a lot of the fruit too goes to our animals. Um, we have little like a gerbil, we have parakeets and stuff so a lot of this stuff we just kind of tie in with their food too. All right two things of broccoli we'll just steam that up quick for a meal. I'm going to be adding this to some kind of tea this week. Um, I got two things of shredded carrots that's going to be going in the soups and then I have a bunch of uh, lime that's going to be for our street tacos tomatoes are going to be for our chickpea salad so I have more limes back there I have more carrots right here just because we're going to be making up them soups and then for the rabbits and other animals um, I have one onion but I have a bunch of onions um, over off to the side here and then we have avocados miles uses them and i needed some garlic for that soup i have another onion here and then i have some pico for our street tacos and then i have this i don't even know how to say it adziki if i'm not sure but it's cucumber garlic lemon juice and onion and i got some pretzels to go with that um and then I have a big thing of spinach and then a spring mix right there. So I think that, oh, and then I have some grapes and uh, red grapes and green grapes. And that'll be tied in with our meals also and possibly that charcuterie board. So onto the yogurt. We have a lot of yogurt and a lot of other snacks in this area right here. All right, so I have the almond coco loco. We haven't bought these in a while, but I have one, two, three, four of them. And then the cookie dough, we have cookie dough, we have cookies and cream, and then another cookie dough. And then we have four of these Nusa yogurts. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then I bought these yogurts right here usually what we do is we have these big things of yogurt and then we just add m&ms to them and it's usually cheaper that way but um these were on sale so i ended up getting these so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine 
and 10 of them. So I have 10 for the kids. And then I have the whips. So we have the cherry cheesecake. We have the raspberry mousse. We have the chocolate mousse. We have the strawberry mist and then key lime pie. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of them. So usually what we do if we have a meal, then the kids can have a side of one of these or for breakfast, they can have that. So that's what we do with them. And then I have my two things of yogurt. We'll use that for smoothies or just for breakfast. And then I bought some coconut water because I'm gonna be making a soup with that. And then also I got some almond coconut creamer. So this is really weird. So I found this on TikTok and what you do is you take diet soda, coconut creamer and a lime and you mix it together and it's supposed to taste really good. But I couldn't get the coconut creamer that was the same of this brand. So I just got that kind and hopefully it'll taste the same. I got this Greek yogurt mixed berries. Um, I'll probably be the one drinking that or Miles. And then I got some kefir for the family. So I got a strawberry kefir and then I got the blueberry kefir and I'm actually gonna hopefully start making kefir by myself. Um, I don't know if that was in my order or not, but I thought I ordered a kefir starter. And if I did, I will um, show you on the screen if I did get it or not. And then I also got two things of the sweet cream creamer. We um, make iced coffee with whatever coffee that we have. Usually it's Starbucks. I also have been using the generic caramel I forget what brand it is, but it's really good. So we put that, or if Lauren has extra coffee in the morning that's left over, I'll just add some of this to that and it tastes really good. All right, and then I got some sharp cheddar, taco blend, some mozzarella, and then Kobe Jack uh, cheese sticks, and then sliced Kobe Jack, cause that'll be on the charcuterie board. I got two of them. And then the mild cheddar, I got some, String cheese, the generic brand, and then I got the Sargentos. A lot of the kids like that one. And then I also got more shredded cheese. We go through a lot of shredded cheese. Um, I got some white quinoa, because that's gonna be going in a chi chickpea salad that I'm gonna be making with broccoli also. And then I have, this is really funny, but I got one thing of white rice and it's completely tiny and it's probably good for like two people. But sometimes when you're doing the Walmart pickup order, you don't, I don't really pay attention to the size all the time. Um, but that's okay because we have rice here. So we'll just use that up. And then I have some feta that's going to be in that chick pea salad. And then I got some ground turmeric that's going to be in that ginger soup. I got some lemon because I'm gonna be making some stuff with that. All right, so I got this new juice. It's cranberry watermelon. It's a new flavor. I got four things of them. And then I got the cranberry grape. I have two things of them. 32 boxes of YooHoo. So when it comes to the drinks like this, this is only a one a day thing. So, and once it's gone, it's gone. I don't buy it again for the rest of the month. So we have 32 boxes of YooHoo. And then each one of the Kool-Aids are, I think there is, let's see, 10 of them in a pack. So we have cherry. I got three cherry, three of the tropical punch, and then three grape. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight milk. And then two bubblies, we have raspberry and cranberry. Oh, and then I have the blackberry. And then I have the blackberry lemon, aha. Uh -huh. And then the, what kind is this one? The Fuji apple with white tea. And then we have some more juice over here. We have the grape juice, two grape juice. So that is what we have for the drinks that are on the back row. And then I'm gonna go over here. I have some of these sherbet ice cream. So I got the rainbow kind and I have two of them. 
And then I have two vanilla beans, and this is going to be used for the dessert when it comes to, what one was it? The brownie mix. So when I do the brownie mix, we're going to be making, putting ice cream with the brownie, and then you put the coffee ice cream and then there's something else you mix it together put it in the fridge and it's supposed to be some kind of dessert so we're going to try that out and then i have a bunch of these balance breaks if you guys know from some of my other grocery hauls me and miles mainly are the only ones that we that eat this so there's three of them in a pack i think they're like three dollars a piece so i have the monterey jack with the sweet one and then it has little bits of cranberry and chocolate and then this one is the Kobe cheese dark chocolate peanut banana chips. And then, th oh, that's the same. That's the same one. I have another one down there. This is the same as the cranberry. Cranberry. And then here's another cranberry. Here's another cranberry. Same down there. And then... That's the same. And then this one is the sharp cheddar cheese, cashew, and dried cranberries. And then this one is the cracker one. So cheese and crackers, Monterey Jack, mild cheddar. So I think Miles liked that last time that I got them. And then this one is the double cheddar cheese, dried cranberries, and walnuts. So I got a couple of them. And then... This one is the cashews, and then I have another one down here. That's the cracker one, and that's the walnut one, the cracker one. Sorry, I don't have it all lined up right. And then I have two more down there. So we got a bunch of them, and like I said, I eat them for breakfast. Miles will have them for breakfast or throughout the day. Um, these are nice for me to take with me when I go to work on a Saturday morning, and this is what I have for breakfast then, and then otherwise I'll bring two of them with me, and then I can have that for lunch. All right, so that is what we have on that side, and then I also got the kids just one of these PJ Maxx, so there's four of them in there, and that could be for the four younger kids. All right, so then back here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of the cinnamon rolls. I'll be adding that to a meal for either breakfast or a dessert for after one of our meals. And then I have two things of frozen corn. I'm going to be using that for my quinoa, chickpea, broccoli, and corn salad. I'm going to be making something up for, with that. I'm not sure. I've never had it before, but we're just going to try it out. All right. And then I have a bag of tater tots and then chicken breast tenders, chicken patties, another thing of chicken patties, and then um, the southern style breast tenderloin. And then I have a bag of sausage patties. This is not usually the patties that I get when we go or when I do my Walmart order. It's usually another big box package of sausage, but they didn't have it this time. So I just got this and we'll see if we even like it. If we don't like it, I'll just have to get wait till they get the kind that we do like. And then I have a bag of pizza rolls and I have a bag of the waffle cut fries. I have two boxes of the family size popcorn shrimp. I have one package of the biscuits, um, bacon, egg, and cheese, and there's eight of them in there. I probably should have probably got another one. And then um, for our Tuesday, like Taco Tuesday, um, we can just do anything Mexican, and this is going to be one of them days, so chicken taquitos. And then I think I bought... Oh, here's another thing of sausage. So I got another package of fully cooked sausage. So these, they, the kids can just, I can maybe pre-package these and they can just put them in the microwave. And then I think I got 20 of the pot pies. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 of them. The kids will pop these in the air fryer. I think we do 400 degrees for... 20 minutes. 
All right, and then we have two packs of waffles. And then I have, for our tonight pizza night, I have a home run, so I have two of them. And then I have the Jack pizza, so we got one, two, three, four of the pepperoni ones, and then the Red Baron uh, cheese, so one, two, three, four. So I figured we need two, four, six, eight pizzas to get us through the month if we just keep pizzas on Wednesday night. Um, I have some grape juice, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I never usually get frozen juice, but we're gonna be starting to make kombucha again, and you need that as your flavoring. All right, so for our meat, I have two things, a salmon, because one Friday night is gonna be a fish night. And then I have our sausages for breakfast, two of them. And then chicken breast, this is gonna be for a fry out. And then I have the chicken deli meat. This one was a rotisserie season, so I'm gonna try that out. And this I can add to a salad. I have two things of brats, that's gonna be for our fry out. And then also we do um, hot dogs in the air fryer now. And we do 400 degrees for five minutes and flip them halfway in between. And the kids really like them. So we got one, two, two, three, four, five of them. And then I got some deli meat for this week. Um, this is the ham off the bone. So I think I got a pound of that. And this one is the buffalo chicken. And this is, I think, three-fourths of a pound. I'm not sure. So we got that. And then for our kids' snack area, we have graham crackers. So I have two things of graham crackers. And then I have a package of Ritz. And this is going to be for our snack um, or our charcuterie board. I got some fruit snacks. And then I got one, two, three things of granola bars. But one of the granola bars is different. So we got this one. It just has like the fudge on top or whatever. And then I got a package of Oreos. And then I got two things of cookies and one box is gonna be put in the freezer. And then I got Jello. The kids asked for Jello, so I got two things of that. And then also we're gonna be make, getting strawberries, I think this weekend, and we're gonna be canning strawberries. And then also I thought we could do strawberry shortcake for one of the desserts. And then for our pantry restock, this is our restock stuff. So we needed more taco seasoning. I always try to have that on hand. And then the ranch is gonna be used for something else. It's like a ranch cheesy potato kind of thing. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 of them, two of them. And then for the strawberries to can, we got one, two, three, four, five, boxes of this sure gel we needed more soy sauce i usually get the larger container and then we pour it in these and they didn't have it so i ended up just getting this i got some onion soup mix because one of the nights is going to be meatloaf and then i have this olive oil this is salad for salads and that's for my chickpea salad and then this one is sauteing so whenever we fry up some stuff and then um, we get the Tarani caramel for coffee. And then I got this broth-based seasoning. And I'm going to be using that in, I think, that ginger soup. And then we, have, we needed some more nacho cheese. That'll go through whenever. We kind of haven't been eating a lot of that lately. And then we have one, two, um, three, four five six cans of chickpeas and then we have one two three four cans of the whole potatoes and then for our ketchup we have one two three four five six of them and then for our spaghetti sauce we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and we have spaghetti every monday or unless i make lasagna then I use a lot of sauce when I have the meat flavor too. And then I use the traditional. But yeah, when I make the, the lasagna, I think I use two or three jars at a time. So we needed more of that. 
And then coffee, we have four things of the Starbucks coffee. And then we needed um, spaghetti noodles for the spaghetti night. And I could only get three packages. That's all that they would allow me. And then I have two things of flour, flour tortillas. And we use these all the time, almost every day or every other day. Um, we do different kind of wraps, chicken wraps and all different things with them. Uh, when I got these little street tacos, I meant to get the bigger, like the medium sized one in between these. And I got these, but that's okay. We'll just eat our chicken tacos with that. And then we have two things of Italian bread. That's going to be for our sandwiches this week. And then two loaves of bread. We actually are going to be getting more bread because we try to put it in the freezer and then have it on hand. And then um, some hot dog buns for when the kids want that. And then for chips, we got a bag of nacho cheese, dill pickle, pretzels, the spicy nacho, the flaming hot nacho, and then the uh, ranch kind. All right, for our cereal, I have two things of Frosted Flakes, things of life, one thing of Rice Krispies, one big thing of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then they must have not have been able to get me another one, so I think they just gave me two boxes. They're pretty good at trying to equal it out, so I got two boxes of them. And then a mega box of the Lucky Charms. And then some Cheerios. And a box of the Crunch Berries. And two boxes of Mini Wheat. So we got two boxes of them. That was everything that I got on this order. Hopefully we can somehow put this all the way. All right, so we... When we got there, I was able to take a picture of them bringing everything out. I'll put it right here on the screen and you can see that. I was hoping that I could maybe even do a video of them bringing it out, but I ended up not being able to get my camera out fast enough. So I just got a picture of it. And then also I asked them if they wanted me to help because it was such a big order. I kind of felt bad. Our whole vehicle was like full of food. I was going to videotape that and I never did. So maybe next time. Um, but my pickup order was at 2 o'clock. So we just got there at 2 o'clock. And then it is 10 to 4 right now. So from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, we were able to get this on the table and me videotape it. We were talking about how long it was going to take for us to set it up and how long it was going to take to do the video. I didn't obviously put anything away yet, so I figure by 4.30 we'll have everything put away. Um, but that's usually how long it takes for us to get this up and going. But all the kids help. We have little kids that will either just take it out of the package. Some of the kids are starting to get a hang on how I like it set up on the table. And then as for putting it all away, we have everything that we have here is set up in a way that we can put it in certain areas and the kids are pretty good at helping with putting it away. So that's what we're going to do next. Hopefully you guys liked today's video though. Uh, this was the biggest one that I've ever did so far. I'm hoping that this is going to work out for us just because it's less trips to the store and I have everything on hand for the recipes and everything that I need to make. I think it's just going to make everything a lot smoother. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.